Hi everyone, my name is Nick Chill. Follow me for photography tips and tutorials to help you learn your digital camera and how to take better photos. Today I want to go over the speeds of SD cards and how they affect your ability to both take photos and to upload your photos from your card to your computer. If you've ever run into the issue where you're in continuous shooting mode, you're taking multiple photos and all of a sudden it slows down really significantly there's a very good chance that you've reached the limits to the speed at which your memory card can take in the information that your camera is giving it. Whenever you take out your memory card, you'll notice some designation symbols on here. One of the ones that you'll notice is there's a number inside of a C. That is the class rating of your memory card. There's class 2, 4, 6, and 10. The classes designate the continuous minimum read-write speed of your card. So for example, class two can read-write a continuous two megabytes per second and class 10 is 10 megabytes per second. Beyond class 10, you have a UHS system, which is for ultra high speed. That's uh, significantly more expensive cards and it's meant for professional photographers. And that designates cards that have a read-write up to 312 megabytes per second. For most equipment these days, the class two cards are just too slow. Class four and class six are generally considered to be the general use SD cards for photos, high definition photography, and some SD video. If you're looking for really high um, continuous shooting rates or high quality video, you're gonna wanna go with a class 10 card. As far as what speed you might need, that's completely up to how you shoot. Um, generally, I would say if you in doubt, go with a little bit faster than you think you need because I would rather spend a little bit more money for a faster card than to have to run into these issues where it takes me 10 hours to upload my 3000 photo wedding. Another thing to consider whenever buying memory cards is the capacity of the cards. You'll notice that some cards are rated SDHC or SDXC. HC is high capacity, XC is extreme capacity. Basically, this is just a designation for a class of cards that has a higher capacity. For example, 30 gigabytes or 100 gigabyte cards. Another thing to consider is the capacity of your card can affect your ability to take advantage of the speed of the card. A high speed card with the camera, they require side by side memory slots inside the card to quickly store and file in information. As you start to run out of space on the card, the camera is not able to quickly shuffle the information in there and so you're gonna to start to lose some of your speed. So try to get a card where you're less likely to fill it up and you're more likely to have some of that extra buffering space in there. As you're shopping for memory cards, just make sure to compare the read speed and the write speed with different brands of cards and figure out which one's gonna work best for you. That's it for this one. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to my videos to keep up with future tips tutorials, and even some behind the scenes footage of my own photo shoots.